Hey there, Dr. Janine Krauss here. Brain fog, why does it happen? Four main reasons. Stress, causing our body to disconnect. It's kind of like a more or less protective mechanism. We literally will go on disconnect when we're overloaded. And so a lot of times we'll end up with brain fog in that case. The other big one is dysbiosis. And if you do not have brain fog when you don't eat, so if say you're intermittent fasting or you're fasting and you're like, gosh, my brain is so clear, guess what? Dysbiosis. You want to be working on your gut microbiome. You could work on digestion, improving how well you break down your food. Then you can also start to work on their gut lining and your beneficial bacteria. Big deal there. Next one, hormone imbalance can be a big factor when it comes to brain fog. So what am I talking about here? Low estrogen levels or fluctuating estrogen levels. Some ladies in perimenopause, as we get closer to menopause, will have huge spikes and drops in estrogen. And the more drastic that drop, the more we might be having some serious issues here with the brain fog. So losing your keys repetitively, can't find your cell phone, feeling like you have dementia. These are all legit things that happen in the case of the brain when hormones are imbalanced. Now, poor nutrient circulation. This is another big factor that is overlooked when it comes to brain fog. Now, some folks will think anemia right away. Yes, you could be low on iron, especially if you're perimenopausal and your periods are getting heavier and heavier. Now, the other side of it could be that you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain. Mm -hmm. You're short breathing. When you breathe short and you're not taking in good long breaths and you're not able to hold your breath for an effective amount of time, guess what happens? Your body does not have that like need, that desire to release oxygen to the tissues as it does when it's starved of oxygen and the carbon dioxide's building up in the system. So there's something called the BOLT test. So B-O-L-T test. So this is your blood oxygen level test. And you can do it yourself at home. You can take a breath in and a breath out, like your normal breaths. And on your exhale, when you kind of complete your exhale and you're just about to take your inhale, plug your nose and hold it and see how long you can hold it for till you get this trigger that you want to breathe. Now I have a video on it, check it out and see what it's all about if you want more detail. But if your number is less than 40 on this bolt test, you might have brain fog because you just don't have enough oxygen getting through your body to your tissues and in particular, your brain. Chances are you're also fatigued in this case. So what do you do? when you have brain fog from any of these conditions, well, you're in luck. Check out my next video. I'm gonna tell you what you can do about that.